Hi, welcome to CFS Fiberglass. Today we're going to be just um, creating some um, fiberglass samples um, using chop strand mat. And uh, we've got Al and Chris working away. And what I'll be doing is just asking them obvious questions now and again. So Al's going to start. What are you going to do, Al? I'm going to put the catalyst in the resin. We're going 3%. We want fast cure on these samples. We've got a lot to do today. Cool. OK, thanks. Okay, so the resin's mixed up, and what are you up to now, Al? <laughs> well, nice to put a coat of resin on the board. Make sure the underside of the glass is, has got plenty of resin on it. Is that board with like a, a Cornish accent? Um, more of a board. board. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And what are you using to put it on? Uh, nice deep pile fluffy. All right. Holds a lot more resin, so it jobs quicker. Yeah. Well, that looks pretty simple. Is it um, like good to miss a bit, or do you? That's fine. I'll just double. Oh. Don't want to create so much mess around the outside. Yeah. Cool. So we've got some uh, chop strand mat here, and um, what? Um, which one is this? Is it? Um... This is 450 gram. All right. We're just going single layer for this roof sample. Oh, well, that's good. This is um, Chris's first attempt, and he seems to be um, settling in nicely. <laughs> <laughs> what would have taken Al, you know, probably like a minute and a half? Um, Chris will probably be here for around <laughs> 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> 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 I consider myself rusty. <laughs> Get the roller covered 360 degrees rather than one side. Okay. That's all. Okay, nice. That's cool. Dunk again. Yeah. Keep dunking. You can see it sort of goes slightly clear, doesn't it? And if it's dry, that's the time you'd need a bit more. Should use virtually all that bucket up on that, this job. So you've got. That's ah, more like it. Is this one ready to roll yet? Or yeah, not pretty quite? much. You're just ready to film? Yeah, no, that's fine. So, um, what tool are you using here, Al? Aluminium paddle roller. Yeah. Uh, it's good for getting the air out, it's the quickest way to do it. And that, in old language, that's a six inch, isn't it? But in, yeah. what, in new language, it's 150, is it? 140. 140, all right. 140 mil. So this makes sure um, all the air bubbles are out and it's nicely compacted, isn't it? Yeah, nicely flattened. All the strands of fiberglass are spread out. Yeah. And we're trying to eliminate pinholes, which are spaces between fibers. Oh. Generous. Have you got enough over over there to finish off? Yeah. Yeah, that's going well, isn't it? Al, you're just about done then on this, aren't you? Uh, yeah, what I like to do in a minute is get the fluffy roll out, just um, re go over with a bit more resin. Alright, but gently so it yeah. doesn't pull it up. Just to seal the surface. Okay, cool. Alright. 
So Al, you've come back now with the um, fluffy roller, and why have you done that? Um, I just want to make sure there's an extra coat of resin on the top. Okay. And to remove the pattern that the panel roller leaves. Oh yeah, like yeah. The horizontal yeah. lines. I know. So it doesn't really pull it up anyway, does it? It's not like you have to be too gentle. No, that's good. And then you'll you'll just leave this to cure then? Yep, come back in about an hour to... Uh, Trim the edges? Yeah. Well, when they're green? Partially cured, yeah. Yeah, green. with a sharp blade. So you can come back at... Um, um, about 20 minutes and tr trim the um, excess off with a Stanley knife yeah, we'll because it's semi-cured. That's right, we'll have to keep our eye on it for timing. Yeah, because uh, if you leave it too long you'll have to use a hacksaw. Yeah, or a grinder. Yeah, which you don't want to do. Yeah. Chris's is coming on nicely. This looks um, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, well I, you can see there's a little, it's a bit drier than owls, but but not much. It's like you. Oh, you'd it put, sounds you, okay, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we'll leave it at that then. Uh, Pretty much, that's everything, isn't it? Yeah. So, Al, uh, what, what have you done with the tools then? Okay, the tools we're, we're going to reuse for the next samples we left in acetone. We to need to give it a good sluice. To um, just to keep them clean and um, free of um, resin setting hard. That's right. The acetone will dissolve the resin off the tools. Cool. Okay. Thanks. Right, we're back again um, at the stage of what we call green, meaning that um, it's just almost gone off but still a little bit flexible. And this is just such a great time to trim if you've got a sharp um, knife. And so, um, how long have we left it, do you reckon, Al? Um, about 40 minutes. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not particularly warm in here, but yep. as long as you keep your eye on it, the thing is not to let it go hard, otherwise you have to use, um, you know, um, a hacksaw or a cutter. So um, let's just see you um, see how easy it is to trim. Just follow the edge of the uh, timber. Easy. And what we'll do is just carry on and trim the whole lot. Neat. Okay, thanks. So we're back to put a final top coat in grey on the um, samples and Al's just um, catalyzing the top coat which is in the bucket which is um, basically a fairly thickish resin with a grey pigmentation and some wax additive so that when the final application goes down you have a surface that's non-tack. So we'll just let him mix it up and then uh, we'll be applying it um, with one of our rollers there. So we're going to put the top coat on, all mixed up, we've got our roller and off we go. Seems like it's pretty well lagged. Have you got any tips for us, Al? Um, no. It's uh, coverage is everything. Yeah. You need to make sure all the fiberglass is um, uh, fiber pattern is as, as obliterated as possible. Which you're doing pretty well, there, aren't you? Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah. So what you don't want to see is a roof that's been left, um, and you can still see clearly the fiber pattern. What you're trying to do is spread it over it and roll it over so you've got a really nice, thick, even coverage. And you can even see from here the reflection of Val in the top surface of the coating now indicates that it's pretty well getting a nice coverage with very little of the uh, matte pattern showing at all. So 
looking pretty good. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Good. Right, we're back to see the um, finished job. It's now, what, a couple of hours later? Yeah. And um, we've got a nice smooth surface. Um, so you're happy with it, Al, are you? Yep. It's not a bad finish. Um, be lovely on a flat roof. Yeah, no, that's cool. Hey, well, thanks um, for showing us, and uh, we'll see you again.